Hello everybody, this is Out of the Box Unboxing and in today's episode I am going to review for you this um, digi digital socket timer. Uh, it will be combined with some practical test uh, based on some silly charger. So, on the beginning, quick unboxing. Please notice it has a 3 years warranty. Features, it has a features of, uh, let me put it, uh, the English version, as you could see. Uh, LCD display, what is most important, it has a 10 on, uh, uh, 10 on and off uh, times with uh, minute settings, 16 programs, 24-7, LED indication, and it's uh, up to 300, 3600 watts. And I think this is the, 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 the most important part. And um, if you want to know my quick judgment, um, my is uh, negative. Uh, why? I can uh, wait till the end of the video, but I will say straight away. Uh, for me, it's too uh, complex. It's too complicated. Uh, uh, I know that some of you could use those functions that uh, you can divide it or uh, you can uh, change settings between days and weeks and uh, different hours uh, but uh, for most of you uh, 16 programs and uh, 10 uh, modules or 10 um, switch on off uh, times with minute settings it will not work uh, I mean uh, who, who needs such? It's using um, only one function at a time. If you need more, most likely you are buying several of such uh, digital socket timer and you are plugging it in to several, um, to several uh, devices, I don't know, some, some heaters, whatever you need. And uh, because of that, this complexity, in my opinion, is too high. So I was um, I was planning a little bit, and uh, first of all, what is uh, in my opinion uh, good to do is to make a uh, reset. It will take just a second, and it's okay. And this we have fresh settings from the start. Okay. I'm turning it on just to indicate is it working or not. I will put here and uh, uh, okay. So the, now it's off. So what you wanna do, wanna do is to uh, sorry to click timer. You can set up, for instance, one two minutes. Confirm, clicking by clock, now it's set up and now just to turn it, it's on auto. So we can wait, is it uh, really turning it on, but you can uh, do it also manually by clicking off, auto and on. And now it's on. Uh, the same is with, uh, okay I, sh I have shown you minutes together with hours but you can also uh, it was here on the second and uh, please notice that there is a small option on off so double click and it's uh, or second click it's off third click it's additional uh, program and now we can set up minutes hours and for instance weeks weeks I mean not weeks but um, days of the week so it's, uh, for instance, it's Saturday, and so on and so on. Then you are coming back by clicking the timer and confirming by clicking uh, clock. So, off, auto, and that's most likely all of that. And uh, as I said, in my opinion, it's too, too complex. Sooner or later, you will forget how it's working and you will need a manual 
and just to refresh your memories you will have to spend a couple of minutes testing uh, to get to set up it right and uh, I prefer instead of such uh, in such in uh, um, I, I, I prefer analog one those with a disc of hours around the it's, you, you can find them in uh, several shapes but they are more intuitive they are cheap affordable and you can buy them as many as you need as you need and uh, all of them can be also uh, adjusted according to days of the week plus of course according to, to, to hours so in my opinion this is a let's say over engineered uh, and uh, I'm not recommending to buy it. If you like it, please, it's up to you, it's your money. Okay, thank you for watching, stay tuned and see you next time. Bye.